October the 8th, 2020 it is, and I want you to pay attention to this distance here. This is a two kilometers distance here that you see. Um, the following was actually recorded not far from the Polish Czech border where I had it afterwards. You see this petrol station Orland. This was basically where I parked my car and I have used one um, for some time as, as literally for two weeks, more than a little bit over two weeks for just like my home. I would park here and I would actually commute myself uh, in a hope to find employment. Um, number one in Old Bahumin, number two in the New Bahumin, and number three to, uh, excuse me, Ostrava right here. Okay, so you got one, two, and three. Um, I would park here and then the only thing I would do is I would walk all the way and actually return if I would go to Ostrava, return walking back to uh, all the way down here. That's considerable. Um, sometimes this, this was like 15 kilometers, maybe even more one way. Um, what you are about to hear right now, all right, this is, this is where I would park the car. However, happened prior to arrival to this place here. This happened actually on August the 30th of 2020. And it happened in Oza, in this little settlement here, village, whatever you want to call this. This is just, oh, let's see this here. Maybe one, two, three, four something kilometers uh, right here away from Haupki. This is also all the river. And you see all the river comes from this side and they join here with other river and then it continues toward Hopki. Uh, right here, right across the rail station is when this thing was recorded. Polish government ensured that a lot of people that somehow would have bumped into me during MK Ultra, uh, they ensured that it will always would be as many as possible people that bumped into me during the MK Ultra. They would appear themselves again in real time, giving me opportunity to recognize people. And I have recognized like this, I'm going to say numerous people. And this was actually the worst time, I think, uh, throughout my entire Poland because I made a confusion. Quite a few mistakes here I made. Uh, we're recognizing people, but I do prove my point easily anyways. Uh, um, since 1996, you are talking about what now more than 25 years of my coming back, of which 23 was drugged up for the first time. I'm now here and I bump into um, a lot of strangers. They, they follow up on me, as I stated, whenever I came. They would, and it was no different at here. Uh, permanently here is a railroad, I'm not going to say guard, but I, but instead of that, attendant right here. Um, this I did indicate it and everything, and uh, I think a renovation of this place. I have uh, indicated his home, I have pointed out. I have the dog always was there, that's his dog. Uh, I did not even ask about that stuff. Uh, and I have even identified a couple, a young couple, um, whose parents I remember, uh, and I pointed out they are actually from Krijanovice, from, actually, so this was here. Okay, I was heading this way. And these people are actually from Križanovice, and I pointed out they have a new home in this, this area here. Because they were involved in this, they, they met me through this stuff, and they were there because they wanted to help me out. Now, the disappointment I carried with me from Strico, you know, I came from Strico, uh, it was severe. It was severe disappointment. Just think about what went on, uh, how much I was disappointed, you know, about this whole thing, you know. Very, very, very difficult time for me. I was not even in a mode to meet people, to interact, to, to actually, and, and these people just keep coming back on a picture, you know. 
uh actually good stuff today when i think about over it's it's good back then it was very very difficult anyhow um recognize this gentleman recognize that one uh a lady comes uh, meets me her husband used to work in a hungary earned dollars donald trump uh, met a lot of people here she believed that she was one of the friends uh, but a uh, donald trump this is like how can i explain um maybe if i would do an interview with her she would she would not want to say this in real time uh but she got extremely extremely disappointed with him i will explain to you something why the gentleman i am talking in this video here uh is actually one of the boys from the polish side that would know me just like boys from um study bohemian from this area here that you see here you see this lake here uh, and this lake here from study bohemian they would know me just like since 1996 i don't know which one was earlier that would know me whether they would know me earlier or was it the boys from old bohemian that would know me earlier this is old bohemian is a czech side Hauptke is the polish side uh if i go back to the map uh and the gentleman that i'm talking to i i'm not sure where where here he's from but these are all this area yeah if you look at this is just one kilometer here that's all there is this is nothing as you know when you're young you you're going to make a circle you're going to go around and you're going to know exactly what's going on um what's happening in area okay so this is what this is the way it is with young people and as i'm talking to him i do not identify him um i know him but when you have thousands of people involved in the mk ultra case in many countries um in this area alone almost i'm not going to say every house was involved in it but numerous people in this area were involved in it uh it's just difficult to walk on the picture and just say oh you are from this and this house you are working in this and this place you know and people i am very sorry some of you have this kind of expectations for many i pointed out don't feel intimidated if i did not you did a good job every one of you did a great job i want to say thank you to all of you i recognize your efforts you invested in this thing to uh make me recall memories you know from your involvement in this thing so we didn't intend to help me out but i am sorry i cannot i i was not capable to memorize absolutely everything okay so this gentleman comes and he is just really really direct about um when i mention him when i recognize him when i know exactly where he fits in the pictures i know him from since 1996 we knew each other when i was brought here i was drugged up and he was one of the participants a young man um you know you're young um about the same age he's got a boy with him too nice little boy grew up um his son uh, really proud about his little family wife happy with life i'm really happy to see him happy um great thing these boys were not a losers under any way under any circumstance they 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 are fighters they struggled for their lives and you know when i when i heard bad things happened it it struck me uh sometimes i'm gonna tell you it was very very hard for me uh, i i don't know was it harder to um wake up from the nightmare when you got a bad news or was it would it be um would you just want to you know what i did was i would block this i would i would just i would just talk to myself i would not talk to myself i would just i learned to actually block this by thinking it's it's actually how can i say you know i kind of blame people for this thing 
you know, I pointed at people that it's actually their fault for what happened. Uh, because, not only because they have allowed this uh, stuff to happen to me, but because of the hardship that went on against me in real life. I, you have no idea how many problems I was faced with my, in my life, what the hell I went through in my life in Miami, when many times I did not know, I did not know how to meet dance, folks. You have no idea how difficult this was for me. I am not going to go into details because just trust me, I'm not going to go any further. Why? It was very difficult many times. And my thinking about something like this, that I have something to do even with something like this, I don't know. I probably would not be talking to you today. This is actually a little bit more serious than what I can actually explain to you, but maybe you can imagine. I had moments in between. But anyhow, uh, the gentleman I'm talking with is, and later on with the lady, um, he met his wife here. And better, uh, just like boys from Bohemian with whom he associated, these are all friends from the Polish side, from the Czech side, this is all the area that the kids, uh, you know, the, air, the border doesn't really stop the kids. The border actually makes things more interesting. You know, the girls and all that stuff. Um, they would meet and go for a swim and all kinds of stuff like this. This Czech lakes over there, those, those lakes, that's like, uh, that was like a trap for anybody uh, from the Polish side. They would all go there for a swim. Uh, young kids what is here to expect it's a normal thing uh and so this here that you see here belongs now to his friend whom i have also met the two were friends the two were the same you're gonna hear me identifying the years and stuff like this talking to him and he tells me more and at one point i tell him aha you are the one who escaped Yes, I said, you're the one who escaped and he is laughing and we are tapping each other on shoulders. Yeah, those years really were dangerous. You're talking about 96, 97, 98. Uh, if you just happen to say something stupid because of Donald Trump, because Donald Trump brought with him, I already have indicated today, on my new site, that's, what's his name, Major General Paul Eaton, um, U.S. General, uh, who lost father in Vietnam. And I, I know that it's, he grieved one, it was a difficult thing to do, and it just happened so that in this area here, uh, there is a Vietnamese community here on the Czech side. Uh, in from Bohemian and it goes all the way to Ostrava and so on. I, I, I understand that it's difficult when you have a father in the military and uh, you suffer loss. Um, it, these things can be very touchy. This, this can be very, very difficult. But I would expect from you as a person um, to be more cautious, to be more to pay respect to the country wherever you are dispatched, wherever you are sent. Uh, be aware of the history of this country uh, and have respect for the local traditions for, well, there isn't much to say. This is a Eastern Europe for which Adolf Hitler had a very specific extermination plan. It's called Plan Ost, Plan Ost Plan. Um, I don't have to go in details. You can read about it. Uh, people lives got severely affected 70 million people perished in the World War II and this individual just could not hold his frustration back and as a result of these frustrations he brought on a daylight uh, he sparked a war in this area a severe war um, like almost I would say I'm gonna say just I'm gonna simplify this for you uh, a civil war, uh, like anywhere else in Poland, I'm going to say. And I have seen bad things happen. Um, Ukrainians would give me a name, a mass massacre, a massacre. 
uh, because whenever I was coming to a, to a town, um, after I was leaving or maybe during my stay, bad things would happen to people. Now, you are talking about a lot, a lot of people. Um, it's also the crazy stuff that would go on sometimes at times. Uh, certain, thing, uh, certain people would pull all kinds of, uh, um, you know, stuff uh, that would not pay them off afterwards and so on. Uh, but the worst that was pulled by this general was actually a civil war. It, it, it grew a little thing to a civil war in the entire area here in, in old Bohumin, in the new Bohumin. Uh, and part of the Ostrava, they have just renamed one into a Mexico. And that was simply because of the racism. Because it was actually already Czech against the Czech they would go. Uh, in Poland, I'm going to be really explicit. Um, an individual who would grow up with several other, other Polacks would start to see himself as completely different from them um eventually obtained idea that it's time to get rid of his own friends if you understand the meaning of these words this is what donald trump brought to poland and the same thing he did brought also to a czech republic it was not only directed against the russians all through the russophobia was the number one thing uh but over time, this civil war, the resentments exploded. It grew into uncontrollable situations. Um, a lot of people, it was all kinds of stuff that happened. Some lost lives. Um, it was Parkinson. Uh, it was all kinds of stuff that developed in people that would interact anywhere near me. This, it was just unbelievable. And this is what Donald Trump believe is going to bring him a success. This actually is what Donald Trump cooked in Poland and in Czech Republic. And this became more evident in all the Bahamian more than anywhere else. Uh, this is for what Donald Trump anticipated would actually trigger like a civil war on a broader scale against the Russia. Because Andrzej Duda, Morawiecki... And the Czech Prime Minister um, believed that they will just go and through what Russians at the beginning started. And it was very difficult. It, the Russian position at the beginning in 96, 97, 98 would be you, husband, having in front of you on the other end of the table sitting your wife let's say let's let's call this a czech republic a poland whatever you want to call ukraine uh and in between you and your wife it would be an american uh, that would be actually flirting with your wife right in front of you basically pointing bad things about you actually inciting in hatred against you it's called russophobia and believe me there is such thing and this is what was in 96, 97, 98, but then this thing grew up into an open, a Amero Nazi, KKK Nazi stuff, fascist stuff, that started to put Pollock against Pollock, Czech against Czech, uh, demanding as actually a civil war in, in Poland and in Czech Republic. This is what Mr. Donald Trump brought here, and Major General Paul Eaton is just part of Donald Trump's failed diplomacy that exploded here in this area here for what he anticipated is going to be like a, uh, a turning point. He failed to actually hear the graveyard, basically. This is one thing. And then through the revolution, this people have created right at the next door. It's called in a Belarus. Now I am talking about, of course, Morawiecki, and I am talking about the same people that did after the Russians, after year 2000, there was no trace of the Russians anymore. In 99, Russians were gone from Poland, from, from, from Czech Republic. They, did, they would not want to be there no more. 
they want they had their negotiations going on here right here where i also attended personally mostly in minsk in belarus and another location here we would go it was also moscow okay and there were some other locations too actually i was all over the russia but let's and i have the proofs for this stuff listen i i know what i'm talking about uh, if anybody here could complain about the stuff i could um Putin literally got me into a prison camps all over the Russia, threatened me that if I'm going to talk in this and that and tra la 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 la. Um, I know what I'm talking about. I could go and say whatever the hell I would want to say. The thing about it is that in this case, in this case, in 99, in 2000, Ruskis no longer were here in this place here. They did not want to be here. They knew that people were disappearing, bad stuff went on, and they were guilty for everything that happened. It was a paranoia killing that was designed to turn Polish and Czech people literally against, literally into Russophobia, into, into a fear, into a rational fear that uh, you know, like a paranoia, like the Ruskies, uh, listen, everywhere is the Ruski, is KGB, kill the people, kill you, uh, you know. And then you see in 2020, just now, you see the revolution. They call this a revolution. And I really call this a massacre. This is actually a bloodshed that took place in the Belarus. And this one was prepared by the Polish Morawiecki and by Duda and by the Czech Prime Minister, Andrzej Babic. In this video, what needs to be understood, in a previous video, I have presented wife of the gentleman Roman, right from this area, right from here, right from here, who used to work right here in London and Britain. He was born here, but he lived his life here in Britain. In this video, I am going to present to you, this is a Czech man, actually wife of a Czech man who also recognized me. In this video, however, as Donald Trump anticipates, it's going to be yet another proof. You are about to hear a gentleman, how nervous he's going to be laughing. This is a Polish man from the Polish side about... You're the one who got away with it. No, 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 no. The thing is that all these people here, Mr. Donald Trump, understand they're Polish, they're Czech, and more than anything, they are Slavic people. We are Slavic people. This is what, sir, this is what you somehow do not understand. Uh, and in our society, a racism and Nazism division, turning uh, brothers against brother, turning friends you grew up with, into enemies, into basically um, gesturing them they are no longer wanted as human beings in this world is actually prohibited. This is not the United States of America. We have different laws here. We have uh, different views here. Uh, and so it's really, really important to accent that whatever went on in 96, 97, 98 was one thing and whatever continued from within it was for completely other reasons that took place. I believe that for some cases, in fact, that it should. For other cases, I believe that politicians took advantage of it. It definitely should not because people got involved in it because oftentimes they wanted to help. And what the politician cares is about turning his coin, basically portraying the case as himself as necessary part of the story at a cost of the taxpayers who hand him a paycheck and those taxpayers that actually paid that with loss of their health, yeah, even lives, spouses, husbands, and so on and so forth. Um, so they could promote certain politic which goes hand in hand with their um, future uh, agenda, whichever way that 
uh, whichever way that goes. And it's it's really a shame that I have to say that Poland and Czech Republic and everybody just basically kind of a handed Ukraine uh, into the hands of uh, Vladimir Putin. But I think this was just the reason for this matter was what we see basically is happening uh, you know, today, basically, we, we see exactly what's happening today. And today, you, you can see clearly, it's a Belarus. It's, it was a bloodshed in the Belarus, basically, they cooked. You know, this was like something that would actually justify what they have done here over the years in Poland and in Czech Republic, after the Russians were already long, long gone from the picture. And so I do want to clarify that these things are not related to one another. These are completely other things. And further, I want very important, and it's a very, very important for me to point out that this stuff, this, whatever happened here, um, most of it that happened from year 99, 2000 up, this was all the stuff that was actually cooked by the United States of America. It was cooked by the London, by United States of America on behalf of Berlin. This is just the way it is. And you can call your um, Andrzej Duda, Morawiecki, uh, you can call your Andrzej Babic, you can call them whatever you want. These days, these very same people who cook this kind of stuff are heading exactly the opposite way. So now if you will object, uh, if, if you will object homophobia, if you will object racism, because they are very anti-Roma now, all of a sudden, it's the foreigners, it's the refugees that bother them and so on. If you will object any of their views, you yourself are going to find yourself on the same list as those who somehow got themselves lost because they would see a human being in me. Most of the people that pay dearly with their lives, they were not Nazis or anything like this. They just wanted to participate. They just wanted to be around me because they saw a human being suffering. And Americans, they took advantage of it. They, they conditioned these people. If you're going to see politically the way we see it, if you're going to see it our way, we will allow you to participate. This man will make a lot of money and then you will be rich. He will award you and this and that. You know who cooked this stuff? Americans cooked, it's Americans that buried most of this Polish Czech people. Massacre, call this your Donald Trump, call this, and it was the same thing in Ukraine. It, the whole thing grew up into a total schizoia, total paranoia killing spree. This is what this was. This is your master Donald Trump that came, and this is his legacy he left, and to Ukraine, and to the Czech Republic, and to the Poland, and he tried to do one also to the Belarus. That's basically where it was a, like a climax of, of his mess he created in Eastern Europe. And kick their, his ass out. Basically, this is exactly the way it is. The next one, the next recording you're going to hear, I'm going to present you with a man whom they have destroyed in 2015 or something like this. I don't know, 2013, I'm not even sure he tells me. Uh, end up with a hole in his throat. Uh, this is the man uh, that did have nothing to do with the fascism. Uh, actually, the individual next door from him, this is the man from 95, 96, uh, one of the first people that just loved me and I just loved to be around him. Uh, is the man who brought business to the Czech Republic, is the man who uh, brought actually fiat to the Czech Republic. He brought the money. He, because why? Because he bought a car, Italian car. He wanted the Italian fiat, Italian car. He was crazy about Italian. And Italians like Polish also, his idea, he, they like him. And they started to see themselves in him. Fiat did, and the money as a result of that poured into the Czech Republic. You know what? He ended up with a huge hole in his throat. And this man had absolutely nothing to do with the Russians. He had nothing to do with the KGB, whatever. And I know so, because his body from the house here, 
was one of the buddies who actually pulled the trick on him. He was the one who actually got absor absorbed into a Nazi circle. And he was not a bad person, but around this, excuse me, Americans that Donald Trump brought with him, you could become really, really bad within like minutes, not even days, if you were the best person in the world before you know. Um, turn his back on him and two of them grew up together. So I know that this was not a KGB. So just calm your passion down because it's not this the only example of it. It's many other examples. It's a dirty politic that played and attempted to turn people into some kind of a schizo paranoid atmosphere, attitude toward the Russian people, basically. That, that they would just like, uh, I don't know, bark on them or something like this, have some kind of an allergy uh, whenever they would approach, come anywhere close or something like this. This is bad. Uh, Putin is circle people that would enter Czech Republic, Poland. This was very uneducated. This had more than anything to do with education, I believe. Circle of people. But under the circumstances they found themselves under, uh, like I previously mentioned, Imagine yourself being a husband. Let's say you're Russian and you have a wife right across the table on the other hand. This is what we Slavic are. We are a family. We are a large family. Uh, and we are to stick with one another at whatever it takes. Every one of our countries is supposed to be a homeland for any one of our people. Slovenia is a home to the Russians, to the Serbs, to Croatians, to Polacks, to Ukrainians to whatever, whoever comes here, Czech or whatever it is. Uh, and it's the same thing we Slovenian people consider Poland and Russia and Ukraine and everything else. And so when you go and you start to flirt like this, um, then the opposite side of the table, if they really do flirt with uh, someone like, you know, Donald Trump, uh, they are actually really flirting in that case with something else. Uh, this is just a rule we have since the World War II, if you don't mind. And I already have explained. Uh, it was about 27 million Russians alone that perished in this World War II. It was a bad, bad war, I'm going to say. This is, you're talking about the Russians, not the rest of the Slavs. While the Hitler's plan was to just exterminate everybody from the map. So I'm sure that... Uh, you would understand, uh, and yeah, it's too late to say what it should or should not, but U.S. government should assign people that are professional to the certain areas that should be familiarized with their traditions, with the history of these nations, uh, rather than some people that are pumped up with a hatred, resentments, uh, and stuff like this, like Mr. Paul Eaton was. And I regret Paul Eaton because it was nothing Paul Eaton didn't have here. Um, and from women and from food and from everything that this locals could possibly accommodate one, it was not enough to, you know, silence his thirst uh, for problems, basically, for his revenge. And, you know, sorry, people paid for it. That's all I can say. The better the people were, uh, the more likely the people would pay the price uh, to someone, let's say, that could not handle his uh, personal issues, I would almost say mental issues, I'm going to say, when it comes to the Paul Eaton. I'm sorry, but I cannot see this any other way. All right? So what you're about to hear, as I stated, uh, was recorded huh, on August the 30, 2020. Uh, just just really a day prior to my arrival, the same day basically as I arrived here, you know, to Halpke. So, Polish side, petrol station, this is where I parked the car afterwards. And if I go again, I'm going to put this back here. Uh, exactly what you see right here. This is exactly where it took place. This thing here, this is what it is. This, uh, this is the lake area. The friend of the gentleman I'm talking to became wealthy thanks to the Donald Trump's loan. 
uh, he took, he would purchase this thing here, and then he would start to turn this whole area into uh, like a camping, like a summer housing uh, type of, uh, I'm not going to say like a visitor's uh, attraction exclusive area, something like this, became really wealthy with this stuff. Uh, thanks to Donald Trump and uh, the lady that you're about to hear also, uh, who came to say hello to me, uh, whose husband was in Hungary, uh, earned dollars over there and stuff. Uh, as much as she considered Donald Trump as friend, uh, they were really, really disappointed when this friend of the gentleman you're about to hear, one of the first people that met me here, uh, eventually would go ahead and he would just chop yeah, beautiful trees, the tops from the beautiful trees with the idea to actually turn entire area here that you see into housing. You know, there is a rail I'm trying to find where exactly this is a river. Um, and um, he just, uh, well, he just decided that he's going to just... Um, the old beautiful trees that are there, he just decided he's just going to go and um, cut them off and just, um, I suppose, uh, fence this entire area here that people used to come to. Uh, there are some pools and stuff like this. People would literally meet spouses here. The gentleman you're about to hear met his spouse here. Okay, and this gentleman just decided that by cutting the trees, the top of the trees, um, having the trees die right there, um, creating a super ugly site, the locals alone would basically ask him to just make the housing project out of it. This was also idea of Donald Trump, and really people exploded. Uh, people, people did not applaud this kind of evilness, but you know, this is a Donny. This is a Donnie Trump. This is a bi this is a big Don. Uh, his popularity uh, of Donald uh, over the years uh, drastically uh, dropped down. Uh, became really really unpopular. I'm gonna say, uh, hated. Uh, and such is the case everywhere you go in Poland uh, or in Czech Republic. Uh, the biggest portion of the people are not really happy. They would be more happy with having normal people around. They would negotiate with rather than uh, having basically society split uh, into uh, fractions. Again, recorded on August the 30th, 2020. The pools, the pools are right here. These are actually the pools. These are the pools that uh, people I was talking with uh, they met their spouses. I saw their children. This, this uh, Let me explain to you what I mean by this. This is a very, very beautiful place uh, that would join people here from the area. They would come here traditionally and it's, it, it, it's a place where their parents, now parents, okay, the same age like myself, would want their children to come and meet basically local girls here. This, basically, this is the idea of the social uh, interacting with, with, with local people, uh, you know, young people. This is, they meet something nice where they can meet, swim, have fun, and maybe even take grandchildren um, in this pools. Well, the Donald Trump did not want public pools. This was public stuff. Uh, his idea is basically to destroy everything public so that the private part can uh, provide instead so it can be charged, so it can get cashed for the freebies. Freebies are actually not allowed in Donald Trump's world. Uh, and Donald Trump, environmentalist, advised now the owner of this place just before in 96, 97, up to maybe 98, this man was a nobody. This man was just like the gentleman I'm talking with. Um, just one of the boys, basically. Uh, to just go and chop the trees. You know, chop, chop, chop. Chop the trees, chop the treetops, chop them. So it's going to be an ugly sight 
and so the people will just want a housing a fence whatever it is it doesn't matter how ugly it's going to be because nothing is going to look as ugly as tops chopped off a beautiful 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 old trees as i stated next to this uh in in this area where you know people would would just met for many generations basically the locals uh, they would make couples over there this is a really donald trump the environmentalist i mean this is a real environmentalist donald trump i don't know when this map is from uh but on this map you can't see anything uh, this is actually google maps and i don't know when this is what is this here this is what is this uh, map data 2020 i don't know because the pools are still there uh the last time when i was the pools were still there unless um uh it's no way because uh this is not from 2020 because the trees if you're about to see the treetops they're, they're just chopped off uh it's a horrific sight actually when you when you see this you're not gonna it's 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 a terrible thing it almost made me feel like as if you would take a bird let's say an eagle uh something like this and you would go and you would just chop off his wings or something like this and let it walk around i mean you know that kind of stuff donald trump the environmentalist this is why this lady lost it you know this lady always was oh donald you know donald uh well you know people have a sour taste in their mouths when they when they think about donald trump now i just uh fail to ask the lady about this here what you see here yeah you see the beautiful trees that are just massacred like this and then you see like a lot of little homes everywhere popping up uh, this already was done in 2015 with the possibility of even 2013 there is a possibility there is such possibility um this is how donald trump does business and donald trump was here i know not only very much i know because of what i meet people the lady i have just spoken with whose husband working in hungary and so on and so forth they knew donald trump very well very close every time we came here this is whom we would interact somehow she would always come across but this is where she got pissed off and I th that's why i say that this probably was done maybe even in 2013 this stuff here this is where she no longer could tolerate him because of this this was done literally to depressed people you know you have a beautiful pools over there that people would meet their spouses this pools i was sure they closed them in 2003 already the truth is they closed them before 2000 the guy told me i missed the information about that people recognize me from the talk that you hear you can hear that and i have recognized quite a few facts like let's say about the guy over there that has like a little actually house over there from which he's directing the train traffic train traffic um first what he instructed him to do because people already were unhappy about this pools like this um he gave him an idea to cut the tops of the trees this is a donald trump environmentalist by the way this is filmed on august the 30 2020 and just about maybe i don't know maybe uh, just a few kilometers from czech border from here this is a city called whoopki right there and then it's a czech border um maybe you're talking about three kilometers four kilometers maybe something like this i don't know maybe five i don't know um 
first what you do is you depress the people so it starts to look ugly then what you do is you put the fence around uh, and homes and you make this like exclusive property this is never going to be exclusive property because the lakes area is in, of insufficient size and there is just like enormous 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 capacity for recreation of what you see here you know they could make thousands of lakes like the one you see right there if they wanted to if they would put some energy in, into it so this year this is a classic idiot classic donald trump environmentalist i'm just being really sarcastic and you can see what he instructed man to do basically with the trees this is sick shit basically but that's what's going to be it's going to be i can tell you this already today it's going to be a fence uh and only exclusive members are going to be allowed to come here into this area here if ever he's going to get to that level you now those are like a big dreams uh um, but a reality usually dictates law here uh, too bad the gentleman i'm talking about is the same age as the gentleman i have spoken with when he had his son with him uh this was his one of the first few people here that would give me a company whenever i would be brought from the u.s here so you're talking about 97 98 99 and so on Once he smelled the money, the two are no longer friends either. Uh, Donald Trump secured this man financing straight through the banks and stuff like this. This is how this guy became wealthy. It wasn't just that he had the money and he just something like this. He got, he got all kinds of loan basically and so on and so forth. That's how he became wealthy. So he did pay it off to be around me. Oh, it didn't matter what, how, but it did pay it off. Some people eventually got wealthy like this. Eventually, yeah, people are going to say, why do we even have this stuff here? Let's just allow them to put homes. The big surprise Donald Trump was uh, preparing for the month of October. Uh, Donald Trump was preparing the big surprise uh, for his supporter uh, for the month October of 2020. That was a big, big, big surprise. This is a surprise. Uh, the surprise is rolling under the table. Uh, uh, Germans, they have actually demanded from Poles, and this is reality, and the Polish geographers, the people from the area, the politicians, the people who gave the names uh, to the local areas, uh, maybe even settlements, they began to choose German names like Polish German names deliberately to impress the German delegations. This is the degree of <coughs> the burn burning is involvement or interaction or meddling maybe you want to call this a meddling you come to the foreign country where you lost war and condition investments through naming of the cities of the new settlements uh conditioning with uh, with the german names this is what the uh, angela merkel did he's nowhere in the books it's all here I remember they were bragging, they were they were bashing about how they have accomplished how this and that. And for the month October, the surprise, there is no surprise. This is the only surprise. Donald Trump believed that I'm gonna bring up these things. And he had few people he organized in the area. I believed that it's gonna be upheaval against a uh, Moscow. Um that it's going to be a revolt, that it's going to be this post, uh, if you want, revolution against not only Belarus, but a purge in the Eastern Europe, 
a purge in a Czech Republic, which according to him, maybe would be actually the really first Eastern European country that would become really independent from the Moscow, whatever independent is. Whatever independent is. This is this is this is a Donald Trump's surprise uh, for his supporters, uh, and that's why the election results are going steep down because nothing is happening on this end. On this end, exactly the opposite is what is happening. I'm calling for all the Slavic people to step together uh, and act as such, basically. That's all. Uh, in a part video and a video in a part two, uh, I will concentrate on extracts from the uh, audio recording, which is long audio recording. However, the original files are at hand. I have no intention to hide absolutely anything. Uh, the extracts that I deem valuable for you to hear, uh, you're going to hear them. Uh, and we gotta go on because I got like million proofs, people that I recognize, people that recognize me, uh, locations I have identified from memory and so on and so forth. That's the kind of stuff we want to talk about. We just want to do this. We just want to clear this political misunderstandings. There are not going to be any misunderstandings. That's all. That and, and therefore, in the part two, uh, audio recording solely. That's all for this video. About the German names, check this out. That's all from to give you an estimation somewhere from like around 2000 and up I give it like from 98 and up I take the credit for that that's MK Ultra. it's a knowledge from MK Ultra. it's only the super insiders the people that were there that participate participate in negotiations that would know stuff like this that's another proof about MK Ultra. Well, the recording you're about to hear and also what I have stated right now. If I wouldn't be there in the Czech Republic, in a Poland, I would not know anything about this. This did not happen in the Czech Republic in respect to the German names. It didn't happen on the Polish side. Ah, uh, Opole, you know Opole, a city? One is the Opava, that's on the Czech side, and then is Opole, that's on the Polish side around that area. The man I met got his wife he from Zelena Gora I already recorded that stuff and I, I'm not sure whether I put him on the internet or not met him in Luj because Opole is not far from Halpke Opole is not far from Katowice it's all in that area Traveled with for the business sake from Zelena Gora all the way to Opole. That's where he met his wife, Polish wife, Cutie. There in that area was also they named places, they gave like German names to impress the German delegations for the sake of this money for investments. If I wouldn't be there, I would know nothing about any of this stuff. 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2, 3, 4, blah, 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 this. Yeah, I was there, I know it. If I wouldn't be there, I would not know any about it, right? 